So today we're going to continue on the FreeCodeCamp's responsive web design certificate and we're on the Learn CSS Flexbox by building a photo gallery. So Flexbox helps you design your web page so that it looks good on any screen size. In this course we're going to use Flexbox to build a responsive photo gallery web page. So I'm going to click Start Project and here's what we're going to be building. So as you can see some images and it all looks very good. So yeah, we need to do the, the usual HTML boilerplate. Um, I don't know why my keyboard is not working. Okay, let me just switch to this one. So it will be doc type and the HTML element like so. And then after that, we want to have a head tag and then a closing head tag and we want to set the lang to en so i'm just going to go lang to en like so and let's check that um oh, apologies it's exclamation part exclamation point doc type and hmm, um need to add the html tag as well everything and then actually the head will go inside that I think that's right um, ah, HTML should have the value of lang so I never um, <laughs> actually do this really um, only on free code camp so gonna be confused let's see it should have an opening body tag as well okay yeah haven't read the instructions um, but there we go so as I said, normally with frameworks um, such as React or Next.js, um, yeah, obviously they provide the default sort of HTML, head and body and all of that. So very rare that I'm creating that. Um, and also a little trick, if you're using VS Code, you can do um, exclamation point and then enter or shift and it will create all of this boilerplate for you. Um, so yeah, you rarely have to type that out, uh, but it's good to know. So it's just loading here. There we go. So step two, within your head element, add a meta tag. So within the head, let's do meta with the name set to um, viewport. So name equals viewport. And the content is going to be set to this string. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. It's quite long. And oops, must not have copied that correctly. There we go. And just take off the, the dot there. And that closes the meta tag. And then I think they're self closing. So let's just try this. And then this one's char set. This is character set to UTF 8, like so. Let's see if that passes. Cool, that does. So step three uh, within your head tag, add a title. So title. And this isn't self closing. Um, and within there, we do, I'm going to put photo gallery. And then we want to add a link. And that, I believe, is self closing as well. And the rel um, or relationship or relative path, not quite sure. Um, but that's going to link to our styles.css, like so. Let's see if that passes. Uh, sorry, it's href for link. There we go. So now we've linked up our HTML, or sorry, our styles CSS file to our HTML. Uh, so add a header element within the body. So header, like so, and assign a class of header to it. So class equals header, like that. And then inside the header, add a h1, so closing h1 and CSS Flexbox Photo Gallery inside the H1, like so. And there we go, there's our H1 inside the header, inside the body. Cool, just close that for now. So below the header element, um, create a new div and assign it a class of gallery. So below the header, new div, like so. I'm going to give that a class it is gallery, like that. This div will act as a container for the gallery of images. 
and then inside that div we want to create nine image elements um, so what I'm going to do is create just one for now um, and I believe images are self-closing and then I'm going to hold the option or it would be the alt key on windows and um, sort of the shift up and then also press the down arrow and let's just see we've got and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so I can delete actually these two here, did too many. Um, but there's our, is it nine image elements? There we go, that all passes. So next, give each image a source attribute. Um, so again, I can do hold control or what will be alt and click on each of these. And there we go, I've selected all of them. So I can do source equals and put in some quotes there and then this one is the, well, the first one and actually I probably could have done that for all of them and then just change the number um, so there is a quick way to do this with I think Emmet but I'm not sure if it's available on here um, but what I'm gonna do is sort of just do two three four five six seven eight nine and that's all of them there we go, we've got nine images of cats on the page. So each within their own little div. Oh no, sorry, the, the, the overall div and just nine image elements. There we go. So step seven, let's normalize the box model. So we do the star selector, select the sort of the whole HTML element or the whole page. Box dash sizing is equal to border dash box. And let's check that. Cool. Step eight, so the images are too big, so create a dot gallery, and that's gonna select our gallery image selector and give it, um, so that's the gallery, and then if you remember, we can then do image, and that's the image within there. Um, I believe, let's try that. So give them the width of 100% and a max width. Um, yep, 350 pixels and then the height will be 300 pixels, like so. So there we go, there's the images scaled out a little bit. Step nine, remove the margin from the body. So let's just do that. So margin will be equal to zero. The font family is sans serif. And we'll give it a background dash color of this hex code here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. I just need to add in the hex there. Let's check that. There we go. And then probably finally for this video, step 10, align your header um, text to the center. So dot header, oops, header, and we'll do text dash align um, center. That should move it over. There we go. And then text dash transform. We want to make that uppercase. So currently it's lowercase, and then now it's on uppercase. Uh, we want to give it a padding on all sides of 32 pixels, like so. Set the background to this hex code, like that. And the text to the hex FFF, like so. And then finally, Oh, sorry, that would just be color. So it's the color of the text. And finally, we want a border dash bottom of 4px solid, and then this hex code here. So I'm just going to grab that. And that should all be okay. So there we go. Perfect. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.